Over a continuous period of two weeks, Jordanians celebrated the royal wedding of Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II, the Crown Prince of Jordan, to his wife Princess Rajal Al Saif, who was given the title of Her Royal Highness. The event received significant global attention and was attended by over 1,700 individuals, including kings, presidents, princes, and prominent figures from Arab and international backgrounds. Noteworthy moments during the royal ceremony were captured on camera, generating enthusiastic responses from social media users. The cameras captured five embarrassing incidents during the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah and Rajwa Al Saif, which quickly became the talk of social media. Be sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. The first incident during the royal wedding involved Princess Iman Jamil Thermi of his husband. Many people criticized him for kissing Princess Rajwa in a way that seemed awkward. The kiss didn't look natural or comfortable, and it received negative attention from onlookers. Crown Prince Hussein, who was present at the time, appeared visibly unhappy about the situation. His facial expressions and body language showed that he was displeased with how the kiss took place. The second incident that occurred during the royal wedding was the moment when Queen Rinia's bag accidentally fell to the ground. Without hesitation, the groom, Crown Prince Hussein, and his brother Prince Hashim quickly rushed to pick it up and return it to their mother. Their quick reaction displayed their attentiveness and respect towards Queen Rania. Now let's talk about the third incident. King Abdullah II, who is the reigning king, appeared tired during the wedding day. He was standing to greet the guests and seemed to bend down, possibly due to fatigue from standing for a long time. Both Queen Rania and the king looked uncomfortable, as if something had bothered them. It was as if their mood was disturbed by something. The fourth incident highlighted the humility and compassion of Princess Iman and Princess Salma. The two princesses graciously lent their assistance to the bride, Rajwa, ensuring that every detail of her dress was perfect. Their selfless acts of kindness and support exemplified the strong familial bonds and camaraderie within the Jordanian royal family, leaving a lasting impression on all who witnessed it. Lastly, the fifth incident showed the playful side of King Abdullah. He was seen teasing his half-brother, Prince Hashim bin Hussein, about the length of his beard. The king's light-hearted banter added a friendly and warm atmosphere to the royal event. King Abdullah bin Hussein posted a tweet through his official Twitter account, in which he said, Heartfelt thanks to our fellow Jordanians for sharing in our joy as we celebrated Hussein and Rajwa. Grateful to all our friends for coming from near and far to celebrate with us. Queen Rania shared photos from the royal wedding of Crown Prince Hussein through her official account and captioned them, May God bless you both and fill your home with love and happiness. As for the groom, Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah, he posted on Instagram on Friday, God has blessed me with Rajwa, the light of my life, and my lifelong companion. May our marriage bring us both peace and warmth. I pray that God continues to bless us. Once again, my deepest thanks to everyone who celebrated with us from our beloved Jordan, as well as our family and loved ones from around the world. On the other hand, the attention of the followers was drawn to the crown worn by Princess Rajwa Al Saif during her wedding to Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan. They noticed the inscriptions on the crown, which read, Rajwa from God. The crown was adorned with diamonds. Many reports speculated about the possibility of Queen Rania gifting the crown to her son's bride as a wedding present, while other reports suggested that the crown was a gift from the bride's family on the occasion of her wedding. The crown appeared exquisitely designed, indicating that it was a new crown specifically made for her, just like it happened with Princess Iman. Rajwa's wedding dress was a blend of traditional and contemporary elements designed by the renowned international designer Eli Saab. The dress had a fitted silhouette with an asymmetrical geometric neckline and long sleeves. It featured a long puffed train adorned with cut-out flower petal shapes, 
complemented by an intricately embroidered long veil adorned with flowers. The young princess opted for a flat white shoe to ensure comfort and perhaps to be closer to her prince's height so as not to appear taller than him. She also chose a medium-sized bouquet of delicate and elegant flowers that added to her gracefulness. To complete her look, the princess wore diamond-studded earrings with an elegant and modern design resembling horseshoes, possibly because she enjoys horseback riding. The engagement of Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II and Princess Rajwa took place at Zara Palace in the Jordanian capital, Amman, in the presence of official, royal, Arab, and international guests. The wedding ceremony was attended by several leaders and dignitaries. Among the distinguished guests were Jill Biden, the wife of the American President Joe Biden, Sheikh Hamosa bint Nasser, the mother of the Emir of Qatar, Crown Prince Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan of Abu Dhabi, Prince William, the heir to the British throne, accompanied by his wife, Princess Kate Middleton, King and Queen of the Netherlands Willem Alexander and Maxima Lopez, Queen Jetson Pima of Butin, and many more. However, the wedding ceremony witnessed a notable absence of several personalities, including Prince Hamza bin Al Hussein, the half brother of King Abdullah II. Prince Hamza, along with his entire family, was absent from the event due to a dispute with the king following the so called sedition case involving Prince Hamza, former chief of the royal court, Basim Awadala, and others. Prince Hamza announced in April of last year his relinquishment of the title of prince, indicating the deep rift between him and the king. Also absent from the ceremony was Queen Noor al Hussein, the mother of Prince Hamza, who had publicly defended her son's position on Twitter over the past years. Princess Haida bin al Hussein, the half-sister of King Abdullah, was also absent from the wedding. She has resided in the United Kingdom since her separation from her former husband, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. Notably, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was among the prominent absences. Saudi and Arab media outlets circulated semi-confirmed reports about his intention to attend. It is noteworthy that the absence of Prince Mohammed bin Salman was not compensated by the presence of any other Saudi prince or official. Despite the fact that the bride, Rajwa al Sif, holds Saudi nationality, no officials from the kingdom attended the wedding, unlike most Gulf countries. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.